Hey guys, this is Yom from Civil Raja, your gateway to future. So guys, in today's session, we are going to learn how we can make a beam column layout in AutoCAD. So let's uh, see what are the different takeaways of this video. So first thing is that you will learn how to mark the beams beneath the walls and where it is required, what is the theory behind that and how to place the columns will be the second takeaway for you. And then the third takeaway from this video will be that you will learn how you have to modify your plan so that you can just start working in the beam column layout mode okay so i'm just going to share my screen with you and i will explain each and everything in detail over here so just stay tuned and if you like this video then hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and if you have not subscribed yet then definitely subscribe to civil raja because this channel is going to be flooded with a lot of informative videos for you. So I'm just going to share my screen with you now. So guys, you can see over here that uh, this is my plan. Okay. And I have to modify this particular plan over here. Okay. So what I will do first, first of all, I will just uh, reduce the hatch from this plan. And to do so, what I can do, I can simply delete all the hatches over here or I can simply make a copy of it. Okay, so first thing first, let's change the uh, like uh, details of the layout over here. So this is the format that I have prepared for my business. You can also prepare such a format for yourself. And now let's uh, delete the hatches over here. Then you can see if I will just go for deleting, then I will have to delete a lot of things. So it is better that I can turn off everything from the layers. So this is the best use of the layers. If you will turn off, uh, unneeded things over here and then you will make a copy then the other things will not be copied in in AutoCAD okay then I can create another layer for the beam and different layer for the column okay so now I will come for the beam layout and here I will use my rectangle tool okay so be precise if you will use the rectangle tool then you will not have to like worry very much about the wall thickness even if you are working with a 10 inches wall or even if you are working with a uh, like uh, nine inches wall even in both the cases you can simply use this technique otherwise you, you are always free to draw the rectangle provide them the dimensions and then you can simply use it in your beam column layout so why are uh, like a rectangle only why not just simple lines because uh, if you will use the rectangles then you can simply select it as a single beam entity and you can simply elongate it to the desired length so okay so you can see that is what I am doing over here. And then you can simply just create the perfect alignment for your rectangles too. If you'll just go with the lines, then you may find it difficult to provide the alignments. So now you can see I am just done with uh, most of the beams over here. This was the last one. Now you can see there are two more walls left over here. So I can either place the beams over there. If I am going for more structural stability, then I should place the beam over there. If I am not going for that, then I can simply avoid that also. Now, when I have to make the column, so this is a plan which is going to be constructed in Bihar. So I will go for like a, a 10 inches wall and that's why the column will be 10 inches by 10 inches for this one yeah definitely the column size will be changed uh only after the structural design right but uh, for now in the planning if someone is uh, asking for the location of the columns then you can simply go for 10 inches by 10 inches or you can go for the suggested one like uh, for the g plus 3 we usually suggest uh, 10 inches by 16 inches so i will also come up with all the details and i'm planning a video for that so over there we will discuss about the structural stability and what are the general thumb rules so what are the uh, like general considerations when you have to like provide the reinforcement details or what should be the sizes of the uh, like rcc work okay so everything will be discussed in the upcoming videos so stay tuned to this channel now you can see i have placed all the columns over here and here what technique i have used i have used just a simple technique and first of all i created a a square of 10 inches by 10 inches and then i have simply just to put a hatch in it then i have like made it a block okay so that was the technique over here and then if i'm copying all the anything from that block then uh, the rectangle as well as the hatch is coming all together otherwise what will happen if you will not go in this manner then 
like sometimes the rectangle will be copied hash will be left out sometimes the hash will be left out uh, like a uh, hash will be copied but the rectangle will be left out so you will not uh, get the accuracy over there so you have to simply make them into the block and that is the simplest technique that you can go with now you can see for even for the five inches wall i can simply take up a rectangle draw it and then my draw it using the reference of the wall and then i can extend it for the 10 inches okay so this is the another technique that you can use over here okay so guys this is how you can simply just make a beam column layout over here and now you can see everything is finalized and we are ready to go with this beam column layout you can also see the dimensions over here and uh, then you can simply copy this whole thing and leave out the like uh, wall up from here and give this particular thing to your client as a beam column layout after marking the dimensions around it so i will do everything in the next video so stay tuned to it if you are like the information then hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and also definitely press the bell icon so that you can be notified i know that you have subscribed for now okay so guys we will meet in the next video till then stay tuned thank you